Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan, and today we are going to be making a three ounce sterling silver ingot using three of these one ounce 0.99 silver coins and a little bit of this copper tube. The ratio is about 94% pure silver to 6% copper. I'm going to be using my newly modified tabletop furnace company metal melting furnace with a larger crucible. Uh, to melt down these metals and then we will be pouring it into my graphite ingot mold so with that said I'm going to throw this all into the furnace and we'll get it melting this is a quick look in the inside of the furnace for Andy over at Andy's machines on YouTube there you go that is the inside of the quick melt pro from the tabletop furnace company I just set the furnace to 2000 degrees, which is the hottest I've ever used it. I've only used it to melt aluminum before uh, at 1350 degrees, so hopefully this goes well. I have confidence in this machine and I don't think there will be any issues. Here we have the metals, the three silver coins and the copper tube. So I'm going to just set those into the crucible and uh, we can go ahead and close up the crucible uh, and turn on the furnace. It will uh, start to heat up. It's very quick. Right now it's at 320 degrees. Um, I, I turn it on to test it, but we'll give it a few minutes. I'll check back in once it's started uh, to reach its temperature and we'll check out how it looks. I'm sorry if it's hard to hear me, but I'm wearing a mask. It's been five to 10 minutes and the furnace has reached temperature and the crucible is looking extra spicy. I'm wearing tinted goggles because there's a lot of infrared light coming off of this but as you can see we have molten metal in the bottom and we are almost ready to pour so I'm going to get ready to do that and set up the camera. This is the sterling silver ingot we just cast and there were a few issues with the process. As you can see, some of the copper didn't actually mix with the silver, meaning we didn't achieve a pure sterling silver alloy, which is the goal. Uh, some of the silver is undoubtedly still pure and some of the copper is obviously still unmixed. So that is something I do need to work on. I don't know if that's an issue with how long I left the metal in the crucible for in the liquid form, or if I need to manually mix it, or if it's a temperature issue, but that is something I need to figure out. Additionally, the fluidity of the metal seemed to be of concern. I don't think I could cast this in a investment cast lost wax casting mold. Uh, just because the fluidity was not good enough, at least in my opinion. The surfaces are really rough and the silver didn't really fill the mold very well. 
Uh, so that's something else I need to work on before I can use this silver to cast. And again, I don't know if this is a temperature issue or a matter of leaving the metal in the furnace for longer. Uh, but if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below in the comments because I do have some rings that I am preparing and I would like to cast them as soon as possible. I'm ready to cast them, but I first need to figure out how to properly make this sterling silver alloy and also pour it properly. Make sure the fluidity is good enough to uh, have a successful pour. So with that said, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you found this interesting, possibly learned something new. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.